offer. You can eat, play, and stay. Today's community sponsor is the City of Effingham Convention and Visitors Bureau. The Director of Tourism, Jody Taley, is joining us. Hey, Jody, thanks for being with us. Yeah, thanks for having me. All right, so we're talking all things Effingham today and all the fun that you have to offer visitors. So let's start with the Effingham Performance Center. Yeah, absolutely. You know, the Effingham Performance Center um, is such a great asset here in Effingham. We're so thankful for them. And, you know, they've actually been super creative um, in the last couple months on things that they can offer. This past summer, they actually did a drive-in movie um, drive-in movie series. They're also now um, doing a socially distanced concert series. They actually have a comedy show um, coming up this weekend. They've got Clue on stage. They have a student showcase that they're doing. Um, so a lot of different uh, live performances that you can watch here in Effingham. You can still get that live music uh, experience, but also very safe here in the area. So we're really thankful that they're going out of their way and working really hard to offer something like that here in Effingham. Yeah, they were here not too long ago on the show talking about their um, their upcoming performances and, and things like that. But what really struck me was how involved they get students around the community. So that's good to know that they're still um, getting them involved with that. Let's move on. Something maybe for, for a little older crowd than, than some students, the Tuscan Hills Winery. Yeah, absolutely. Tuscan Hills is one of our favorites here in Effingham. Um, such a such a cool place. Uh, they actually have a lot of ground out there. Uh, you can go inside or outside, but they've been having a lot of events on the weekends um, outside with food trucks and live music. Like I said, plenty of space for people kind of spread out, enjoy their weekends. Um, they have food out there. They have some great drinks. Families are welcome. Their pets are welcome. It's just a really fun place to enjoy here in Effingham. Yeah, and something I enjoy, Jody, is shopping. <laughs> You've got lots of great shopping options. We do, yeah. You know, we have so much shopping here in Effingham, and one of our favorite places is just the downtown area. It just has a lot of really unique um, shopping uh, stores in the area. Um, you can, you know, find anything from clothing stores to um, uh, like baseball cards and, and sports memorabilia. We have um, just so we have like a, a America's Groove um, stores, like um, vintage and vinyl, um, you know, records and vinyls and stuff like that. So it's just kind of something for everyone in the downtown area. So we want you to come down, take a walk, and enjoy our beautiful downtown area. Yeah, earlier this week, Aaron featured the Firefly Grill, and they're known for having great local cuisine. So definitely some place for people to stop and grab a bite to eat. Yeah, Firefly is always one of those must stops uh, when you come to Effingham. And actually, a lot of people plan their road trips around Firefly Grill, which is really great. Uh, they're doing some really cool things. I know you guys are kind of talking about how they did um, the live cooking classes um, while everything was going on. They also um, have just done a lot to their, um, uh, I guess, like their um, air purification systems and UV filtrations to make things super safe there. And they always have the best food. Everything's locally sourced. Um, they grow a lot of their own vegetables and stuff in their own gardens. Uh, it's always, um, you know, an experience when you eat a firefly. Yeah, it's so good. Um, something else people can do, get outdoors and um, try out some trails. Yeah, absolutely. Our truck trail here in Effingham is always a super popular spot. And now more than ever, we want people to go outside and enjoy the outdoors. So if you're looking for recreation here in Effingham, we always, always um, recommend the truck trail. You can um, you can walk and run on it. You can ride your bike. Uh, it's just really fun. And, and actually, you can um, park at the performance center that we talked about earlier and get on right there and, and walk the few miles um, around there. And it's, it's beautiful. And of course, fall, fall coming up now, the leaves will change and it'll be even prettier out there. Yeah, and a trail of different sorts. We're encouraging people to check out um, Sculpture on the Avenues ex exhibition. Yeah, that is our um, our outdoor um, exhibition that the city sponsors each year. Um, and this year, more than ever, we encourage people to um, grab a culture guide. Um, we have them here at our visitor center. Uh, we always have them um, at Effingham City Hall too. But uh, you can actually grab the guide itself, and you can take a walking tour. And we have around 30 or so um, sculptures this year, and they're just really fun sculptures. 
And um, if you have the guidance, we will tell you a little bit about the sculpture itself and the artists, where they come from, um, how they created the piece and things like that. So again, just another really cool thing to build experience here in Effingham. Well, lots to see and do there in our town Effingham. And we are so um, glad that you joined us to tell us all about those different options, Jody. Yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate it. You're welcome. We'll connect everyone to what's happening there in our town Effingham at CILiving.tv.